My name is Faiz Okiwewa. I, am, uh, I work with the Bainba Foundation and um, I happen to be also a partner of KITF uh, from the beginning, uh, from the conceptualization basically. And uh, thanks to Deborah, uh, because it was her, um, her wish as by then when she was still working with uh, the Sundance uh, Institute for Theatre in East Africa. <laughs> And, and uh, I'm really, really happy that uh, it's now 10 years down the road and it's still getting stronger. Uh, so yeah, it's really a great honor to be a partner, to be a, a contributor and a, you know, co-programmer of the festival uh, at its beginning, at its early age or its early years and to see it grow now, to uh, taking a new path and uh, uh, more grounded uh, into the conversation of theatre and uh, really, really promising. So I'm really, really happy about that. I think like any other, um, any other concept, uh, the theatre festival, as I said, that um, Deborah was very much um, embedded into the theatrical conversation around the region and also in the diaspora. And I think as a colleague of the Sundance, uh, she saw this growing number of playwrights, directors, actors, you know, you know, from Nairobi to Kampala to Dar es Salaam, Kigali, and I think she felt like, whereas Baimba as a festival was giving them a platform which was very kind of, much, I would say, you know, very small, and uh, with all the chaos that goes on around the festival, theatre wasn't really finding its own space. It was always rushed off the stage because another act is coming, there's a musician, there's a dancer, yet you have a set. And so we felt like there wasn't enough kind of room to let it grow organically. And uh, we had this conversation um, and she was suggesting that we could work with the Sundance Institute to see whether we could support the theatre festival for East Africa. And that's when the idea was kind of uh, initiated. So we worked hard, both of us and other people, uh, to get the Sundance Institute, who were already vested and they really welcomed the idea. So she invited me to New York. I remember one time I was in New York and we met with the Sundance team and then we agreed on the principles. And then we started working on the content. And, you know, as Deborah, she's very much, you know, aware of the industry. She's very much aware of I, I didn't even worry about the content because I, they were looking to it. <laughs> she knows what. So it was really that that beginning, and my job was just to bring in this um, um, the festival organizing experience, uh, the connection, the network, uh, the branding, and uh, uh, you know the whole concept around how is it going to look like, mm -hmm. and also getting other partners on board because I remember the first edition we had. Uh, Institute Francaise as a partner. We had a beautiful production from South Africa, which was kind of like the opening act. Uh, so it gave us the pace. It okay. gave us the pace. It also brought in a very young audience of so many creative playwrights from the region. Mm -hmm. And I think what they really saw within those first editions was like they had finally found a home mm -hmm. for them. Because for me also as a person, I always thought that, you know, you can't have all these playwrights and they don't have anything they are looking up to. You, know, you cannot just write a plan and hope it will be read by someone knows where. So I think the festival gave them that, you know, that, uh, that hope that, you know, if, if I can write my play, I can submit it to the, to the KITF and if it passes through, it will be read, it will be played, it will be showcased, it will be programmed. And we also had an opportunity to set up you know, partnerships like with the uh, Omutu Festival in Kigali. So actually, Hope always used our program as a shopping list. She was like, what five, what do you have? They're like, take it all, take it all. And I think that was really beautiful. We actually, at one point, we wanted to invite scripts from, let's say, Bat Valley, you know, like downtown theater. Because I think my struggle at the beginning, and also understanding the local audience was like, how do we tap into that market of like, if I have Mariam Dagire with her, you know, with her production, bringing it to the theater festival, or Alex Mukuru, or, you know, people of that, you know, genre, I would say. Um, how would it look like? But I felt like it wasn't so easy because everyone feels comfortable in their own space. You can't take the theater festival there, 
they can't come he up here. So you find that it's kind of playing uh, in between. I'm always happy to find people like uh, Charles Mlekwa, you know, uh, the, uh, several magas, you know, they're still working with the, with the festival. I would then find that very easy at the beginning, but now I think it's organically growing because they see it, they are starting to embrace it. And the challenge with our fest was the refusal from that, but if there is that acceptance, if there is that um, continuity and the fact that it has continued over, now it's 10 years down the road, I think it's m mitigating its barriers. You know, it's trying to find its way. I know it's not easy. Um, but I think it's really finding its ground, uh, handled in the right way with the right people. Uh, it might take time, you know, first of all, concepts, ideas take time to be nurtured fully within the, you know, a society. But I think they're, you know, they're, they're, they're managing. I think now that we've done the 10 years, I know they have been challenging. We need to start looking at expounding on our level of production. Um, from the beginning, we always had, you know, of course, it's not anyone's fault because, you know, we always had budget restrictions, budget constraints. And you find yourself working with the productions that are supporting themselves to be there. Um, but I feel the festival could now start looking into commissioning productions, not necessarily waiting for submissions. Because in programming, of course, it's, you know, it's, it, the, the festival is the platform for groundbreaking, you know, playwrights and productions, but also it has to kind of like, okay, we've done that for 10 years. How do we see ourselves in the next 10 years? How do we start championing a new narrative when it comes to theater? I think fostering more local collaborations uh, with, the, uh, with some of the folks that I would love to see you know, um, um, Selumaga or uh, John Segawa uh, bringing his entire production as the opening act, dragging it from the uh, Bat Valley to Tundere Center or to the National Theatre or to uh, the new uh, uh, con uh, production hall in uh, Webaja. Beautiful, high standard, classic, the best in the country. You know, Finding these production spaces and getting those those folks to you know to to look into these um, how they can also tap into this new market, and I think also it could also start to you know from commissioning productions to really putting more emphasis on um, I would say classical scripts you know from uh, the Byrons from uh, the Charles Mlekwas from the, you know, the uh, Serumagas, from uh, all these, the, you know, all those productions that you use, you know, for example, like 30 Years of Banana, if it is recreated, maybe not in, the, the, in that kind of spectacular way, but to fit into the narrative of today and present it to a young generation that missed out on those. Creating, you know, that kind of conversation and, uh, and uh, allowing space for collaboration. So that we are not only looking at what we are writing, you know, not only looking at what is in, what is interesting for us, okay. but what also makes us uncomfortable. You know, bringing in those conversations. What really, what used to happen then? What can be, what can we do more? How can we celebrate the then, the now, and the future? So I would like to send my congratulations to the Kampala International Theatre Festival upon reaching your 10 year uh, anniversary. Uh, it's a great milestone. I'm proud uh, personally and uh, on behalf of Bayimba to have been part of your uh, beginning and uh, or we continue as an organization uh, to be there and supportive and uh, looking forward for another hopefully amazing 10 years.